Greetings! Welcome to Saint of the Week, the show where we choose one saint's feast day from this week and discuss their lives and their impact on the church. The saint for this week is Saint Francis Borgia, whose feast day is October 10th, this Tuesday. Francis was born in Valencia, Spain, on October 28th, 1510. He was a son of Juan Borgia, the third Duke of Gandia, and grew up in nobility. He was a pious Catholic from a young age and desired to become a monk, but his family instead sent him to the court of Emperor Charles V. He rose in prestige there, accompanying the emperor on many of his campaigns. When Francis was 19 years old, he married Leonor, a Portuguese noblewoman. Over the next 10 years, the two had eight children together. He continued to rise in court rankings, and finally, in 1543, after his father's death, he became the fourth Duke of Gandia. He lived a happy and peaceful life with his wife and children, but it sadly came to an end when Leonor died in 1546. Following his beloved wife's death, Francis decided to join the newly formed Society of Jesus, after making sure his children were adequately provided for. He passed his title of Duke onto his son, Carlos, and became a priest. Despite his previous high standing in society, Francis was very humble and willingly performed menial and low-level tasks. Despite his humility and his preference for seclusion and prayer, Francis' administrative skills remained clear. Pope Julius III wanted to make him a cardinal, but Francis did not want the position, and secretly left for Basque County to avoid the appointment. Eventually, however, his friends persuaded him to pursue the leadership roles he was so talented in. He became the Jesuit Commissary General in Spain in 1544, and founded a dozen colleges. Just two years later, Francis was also given responsibility over missions to the East and West Indies. At the age of 55, Francis was appointed Superior General of the Society of Jesus. He founded the Gregorian University and contributed greatly to the spread of the Jesuit order. He passed away on September 30th, 1572, in Rome. He is a patron saint of Earthquakes, Portugal, Gandia, Rota, and Marinia. Francis' most defining trait throughout his life was his deep humility. He was a patient and gentle man, only growing angry when others addressed him with respect, as though he were still Duke of Gandia. He was an advisor to both popes and kings, and has been called the second founder of the Jesuits. His holiness and love for God caused many to consider him a saint while he was still alive. St. Francis Borgia, pray, pray for us. us. Our honorable mentions for this week are St. John Leonardi, St. Dennis and Companions, St. John the Twenty-Third, Blessed Francis Xavier Silos, Blessed Marie Rose du Rocher, and St. Callistus the First. And of course, there are thousands of other saints who undoubtedly have their feast dates this week, but there are so many of them that there is no way we could list them all here. We hope you have enjoyed this episode of Saint of the Week. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Peace, Peace be to you. you.